بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہم رب زدن علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین Probability Distribution Lecture 1 An important advice for me and for everyone Neither cheat nor help in cheating Be positive Probability Distributions The probability distribution of a discrete random variable is a display of all its possible values and their corresponding probabilities. Discrete means countable quantities. A probability distribution shows all the possible values of a variable and the sum of the probabilities is always 1. Sigma p is always 1 and you can write sigma p as sigma p capital X is equal to small x is equal to 1. When defining variables, the variable is usually denoted by a capital letter like x, y and z and a particular value that the variable takes by a small letter like small x, y and z. So that this expression probability x is equal to capital X is equal to small x means probability that variable x takes the value x. x takes the value x where x is a discrete random variable. Discrete means countable quantities. For example, number of students in a class. For a discrete random variable x, the sum of probability must be 1. There are two uh, approaches, practical approach and theoretical approach. Practical approach, practical, uh, I mean for practical approach means events have occurred, events have already occurred, that means practical approach. And for this uh, type of thing, we use frequency distribution. When events have already occurred, then we go for frequency distribution and from frequency distribution, we usually get mean. And theoretical approach means events expected to occur. And for that, we go for probability distribution. And from probability distribution, we usually estimate the mean expectation, which is known as the expectation. And is denoted by EX. Theoretical approach. When an unbiased die is thrown, the probability of obtaining a particular value is 1 upon 6. Because on a fair die, the probability of all the numbers are same, like 1 upon 6. And this equation is given for the probabilities. This is the equation uh, to get the uh, probabilities of the numbers. Of the different values of x and these are the specific values of x on a particular die fair die so uh, on a fair die you can get one to six numbers so x this small x will take values from one to six inclusive and their probabilities will be one upon six each this is this table is known as the probability distribution and since x is random therefore the sum of the probabilities must be one Well, uh, how to get the expectation? To get the expectation, uh, you just need to multiply. You just need to take the product of these two. Expectation is the sum of the product of the probabilities and their observations. Like this. This is the expectation. And this is the small uh, capital X. Capital X. And uh, how to get uh, EX square? This is uh, EX. For EX square, you just need to square the number. First, you need to square the number. Like this. 
square this number and then multiply number with probability for ex square so for ex square you need to square the number and then you can uh, multiply num the resultant number with the probability this is the way to get the uh, ex square so it's here square the number first and then multiply the number with its probabilities 2 square times this 3 square times this and so on this is the way to get e x square and the formula of variance is the value of e x square should be here minus square of the mean this is the mean 3.5 so that's the formula of variance i'm leaving calculation for you you can do this later here is the formula of mean the formula of expectation sigma x px and px is basically x is equal to small x in short you can write this just px or just p well this is the formula of the variance and this is the formula of e x square well uh, methods to solve probability questions for a small number of outcomes we go for probabilities which we have done in the last chapter for large number of events and outcomes we go for probability distributions and you all know probability uh, cannot be negative well uh, types of questions there will be two major types of questions uh, type 1 probability distribution will be given like a table will be given and they will ask you find mean and variance let's suppose we have uh, this number 1 2 3 4 this probability is 0.2 this probability is 0 0.1 0 0.4 this total is i guess 0 0.7 so this should be 0 0.3 so they will ask you how to, i mean get the mean and variance so if the table is given the question is straightforward just get mean and variance but the second type is very important uh, in this type they would ask you they would give you information and they would ask you construct the probability distribution for that uh, you must uh, know these steps in order to construct probability distribution these steps are very important step number one now step number one is understand the meaning of capital X with respect to the given information what is this X what does uh, X represent in the question you must understand the uh, significance of X maybe X means uh, number of girls maybe X means number of uh, red pens whatever so understand the meaning of x with respect to the given information this is the step number one while constructing the probability distribution step number one is read the question carefully and understand the meaning of x according to the given information step number two choose where to start x from and this is very important you just you must have the range of values of x what are the minimum and maximum values of x you must know these things i will explain this thing while so, uh, explaining the solutions of the questions step number three choose method to calculate probabilities choose the right method the method which will save your time which will make the calculation simple and for that you you there are these are the methods this is method number D. Let me write this method D and method E. There are five methods. Normally, in general, five methods. So you can uh, choose the tree diagram. If you think you can solve the question through tree diagram, then it's fine. So you have option 
you can use tree diagram you can go for a sample space you can go for possibility space you can either go for combination and you know where do we use combination we use combination for random and without replacement events you have done this in probability you, you in fact you uh, already have done all these five methods in probability and this is the last method which is the factorial and you know this method this method is used for random and without replacement events uh, sorry random with and without replacement events i mean this method is for both whether the events are with replacement or without replacement you can use factorial method combination method is only for without replacement events you cannot use combination method for with replacement events so make sure you use you choose the right method and use the method correctly number 4 write them write the probabilities in fractions try to write the probabilities in fractions and don't simplify the probabilities now let me uh, explain this uh, these steps with this question probability distribution question number i think it's 11 yeah this is the question <coughs> now first we need to uh, go through the question carefully a team uh, let me raise the things first so that you can understand this easily Well, a team of four, this is important, a team of four is to be randomly chosen from three boys and five girls. The random variable x is the number of girls in the team. Now, this x is very important. In, in this question, x represents the number of girls in the team. So make sure you choose the uh, right values of x. So this x, small x, the range of for the range of values of this x, you need to understand this. Let me first erase these things. First, you need to write this chart. Now, how to decide the right values of x? Now, this is here. See, for the range of values of x, you just need to write uh, girls and boys here. Girls and boys. First, write these things. Now try, uh, what I mean, your requirement is four children. So uh, first write the uh, given information. How many girls are there? Uh, you know, uh, there are uh, five girls and three boys. So write this given information here. And since you need four children, therefore try to... Uh, Try to take four children, I mean four girls here. Try to take all girls in the team. So if you will write four here, then this is perfectly fine. Let me change the color of the pen so that you can easily understand this. I mean, try to use all. I mean, try to take all girls in the team. So all means all four girls now check this whether this is fine or not according to ncr this is fine i mean 5c4 is perfectly fine i mean this is uh, valid so all the all option of the girls is perfectly fine therefore there will be no boy so the maximum value of x will be 4 i mean there will be four girls now 
for minimum value of x try to use none option meaning no girl that means all four boys and try to check this thing according to combination 3c4 3c4 is not valid this is invalid we cannot do 3c4 now that means none option mean no girl in the team is not valid for this question so try to use one girl option i mean take one girl and then there will be three boys because all together we need four uh, students so now check this 3c3 is perfectly fine therefore the minimum value of x will be 1 and the maximum value of x will be 4 this is the way uh, to uh, select the values to choose the range of values of x hence the uh, range of values of x are 1 2 3 4 so we will uh, take these values these four values into table this table 1 2 3 4 so we have done step number 2 now step number 3 step number 3 is calculate the probabilities of these values now since uh, this event is random and without replacement therefore we must use combination to make the calculation simple so for one girl we can use this thing like through combination we can easily do this one girl so 5c1 3c3 and divided by 8c4 let me correct this this is 8c4 in this way you can uh, find the probabilities for two girls for three girls and for all four girls and this total must be one and don't i mean no need to simplify the probabilities in the table this will make your calculation simple if you will simplify the probabilities then the calculations will be very difficult now the next question of this is uh, given that expectation is 5 upon 2 find variance so this is very simple for variance we just need to uh, square this number 1 and then we need to multiply 1 square with 1 upon 14 then we need to square 2 and then multiply 2 square with 6 upon 3 square with this and 4 square with this and then we need to subtract this answer 95 upon 14 uh, minus 5 upon 2 whole square this is mean and that's the way to get the variance so this is one of the question of uh, very important question to understand this chapter now the second important question uh, to understand this chapter well is this this is a very simple question uh, that a table is given and we have uh, two unknowns and there must be two conditions one condition is this the total probability is 1 the other condition is given mean is 1.05 therefore we will make two equations one with uh, by using this mean ex is equal to 1.05 and according to this information this is the equation number 1 and second equation will be formed through this one i mean the sum of all the probabilities is one therefore this is the second equation solve them simultaneously and then work for variance and this is the formula of variance we already have discussed this you just need to square the number square minus 2 and then multiply this with this so here is the way to get the variance so minus and do every i mean uh, after this calculation subtract this thing i mean my mi put minus sign and write the square of mean here and that's the final answer of variance let me check a question in uh, so that we can do the calculation of mean uh, expectation now this is a good question in this question we have to do both expectation and variance this is question number 4 i'm not interested in the table we already have understood how to construct the probability distribution i am more interested in the calculation of mean and variance so how to get mean and variance 
for mean you just need to multiply these two numbers these two numbers these two numbers and then take the uh, sum of the their products so 0 times 1 upon 7 will become 0 1 times 4 upon 7 will become 4 upon 7 this will become 4 upon 7 the answer is 8 upon 7 leave your answer in fraction form it's better otherwise you have to give your answer up to three significant figure but always use exact number in the later part like always use fractional value here and for variance we just need to square this number 0 square times 1 upon 7 will be 0 1 square times 4 upon 7 will be 1 up uh, this thing like 4 upon 7 and 2 square times 2 upon 7 is here minus square of mean this is the way to get the variance now one very important thing uh, the new possibility space diagram well new possibility space diagrams are used for repeated outcomes and for those outcomes which have unequal probabilities so make sure you use a new possibility space diagram for these things for repeated outcomes right and for those outcomes which have unequal probabilities in these types of diagrams we do mention we do write the probabilities of the outcomes like this set a consists of these numbers set b consists of these numbers so uh, this is the new possibility diagram according to this diagram uh, we just uh, write the numbers once like we don't we, there is no need to repeat the numbers there is no need to write the whole list here you just need to write the numbers without the repetition set a contains consists of one two and three so one is here two is here three is here and their probabilities are here and set b consists of the numbers one and two with their probabilities and since we have to the question is uh, x means sum of the observations sum of the numbers x means sum of the numbers so x is sum of the scores of a and b so 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 and so on so when there is just one operation then uh, do the operation uh, there is no need to list the numbers like don't no need to write 1 1 1 2 1 3 I mean there is no need to list the numbers when there is just one operation like just addition there is no need to use this thing since there is just one operation addition so I added the numbers and this is the way to get the probability of this number 2 for this number 2 uh, the probability is 2 upon 5 times 3 upon 6 note as there was just one operation uh, the sums of the numbers therefore I didn't list the outcomes and I just added the outcomes to get the required values of x if we had two or more operations for example addition and multiplication then we had to list the outcomes like 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 like this now let me explain this thing uh, with this question question number 5 set a consists of 10 digits set b consists of 7 digits one digit is chosen at random from each set the random variable x is defined as the sum this is very important of these two digits now this is the uh, right possibility space here is the right possibility space diagram so this is uh, from set a these numbers are from set a and these numbers are from set b so uh, i mention the probabilities here and since uh, x means sum of the observations sum of the two digits therefore i added the numbers like 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 2 makes 2 0 plus 4 makes 4 and so on now um, how to get the probabilities now for probability of this 0 
you just need to multiply 4 upon 7 with 6 upon 10 and you'll get 12 upon 35. Similarly, for this 2, you just need to multiply 4 upon 7 with 3 upon 10. This will be 6 upon 35 and so on. So this possibility will make the calculations very simple and these are the required values of x. 0, 2, 4, 6. Now write these values here. and uh, their probability is all here and you know how to calculate mean and variance now one, one another important question uh, very important question is uh, question number uh, 13 first let me discuss question 14 in question number 14 there is just one operation subtraction question 14 is similar to 5 as question 5 so that is why uh, I made this possibility similar to question 5 and subtraction is here and there is no need to list the outcomes and you can easily make the table you can easily construct the table this is question number 14 same as question 5 there are three zeros so you for first I mean for this zero and here you need to mention the probabilities 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. For this zero, you just need to write 0 0.5 square. For this, 0 0.4 square. For this, 0 0.1 square. And add all to get the probability of zero in for this table. Now, last question of this lecture, 13, very important. Uh, in this question, In this question, uh, we have two operations, sum and product. Therefore, I made this possibility. I list the outcomes, in fact. Since we have two operations, therefore, I went for listing. Like 1, 1. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and so on. And probabilities are here. So when there are two or more operations, always go for listing. When there is just one operation, uh, just add the, just do the operation. I mean, no need to list the outcomes. So if the first question is, sum of these scores is 4. So you just need to pick the right outcomes the outcomes uh, which will give you 4. So this will give you 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. You just need to take the probabilities of these three outcomes here. 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. And the second one is uh, the product of these scores is less than 8. Since we have uh, a lot of numbers whose product is less than 8, therefore uh, use the alternate option. Take those numbers whose product is either eight or more so, and use this equation so these are the numbers 3 5 3 4 3 3 2 5 2 4 there are five options five outcomes uh, whose product uh, are greater than eight uh, equal or greater than eight so get the probabilities of these five and then use this equation to get the probability of less than eight here is the answer Well, I will uh, discuss the solutions of uh, some important questions uh, more, uh, I mean, uh, the leftover important question in my next lecture, inshallah, soon. Uh, I hope this lecture will help you all to understand this chapter in detail. Uh, be honest, we should be honest. This is the advice for me and for everyone. Allah Hafiz.